Okay, I'm now down to the scaling part of practice test number one. And we need a floating point variable to set the scaling of the runner. Okay, so let's do a control home here. And let's declare a float. Now it's called runner scale. And we'll set equal to one at the beginning. Allow the user to increase the scale by 2% by pressing on the X button. Decrease it by 2% by pressing on the Y button on the gamepad. So we're going to have to have a gamepad variable. And we're going to have to read it in on every tick of the clock like we always do. So. Gamepad dot get state. Okay, so now we got our gamepad, and we are going to check to see if um, X is pressed. Buttons dot X. Uh, then uh, we're going to uh, actually I don't think I need brackets here I think I can just do one thing um, the uh, runner scale 0 0.02 F increased by 2% okay if pad dot buttons dot Y then runner scale minus equals 0 0.02 F okay and that should not be there okay so we'll add on or we'll subtract and uh, it also says we've got some limits on this uh, do not allow the scale to drop below 0.5 so uh, if uh, runner scale is less than 0 0.5 F set it to 0.5 And it doesn't look like we have an upper limit on the size. Um, his feet may drop below the bottom of the screen. Don't worry about that. It's easy enough to fix. Okay. Uh, yeah, they probably will with the way I've got it going right now. Uh, let's go down here. And uh, here's my scale. So. And what I need to do is uh, run the program now and uh, use my controller and press X and Y. So X is increase, I think. And let's see what happens when I press uh, X. Yeah, he's getting bigger, but he's also dropping down below. And when I press Y, and now should not get any smaller than half his original size and that's pretty small it looks like less than half but actually what's happening is we are shrinking it in both dimensions so uh, he's going to be one-fourth his original size but half the width and half the height and if I do X now and increase it there we go Okay, let's. Uh, so we've done that part. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the next part. Uh, gamepad input and procedures and methods. Use the gamepad to do the following. Declare any needed variables. Write a method for each item below. Note that these are very short methods. Um, write a method called uh, reverse direction. So it's going to be void. Uh, And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to call this. It's a method. I need to put parentheses on the end when I declare a method. And um, I'm going to reverse the direction of the runner. So runner speed equals minus runner speed. Okay. And I'm also going to have a void uh, method called speed up. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase the speed of the runner by one pixel per tick. 
and so uh, runner speed plus plus okay now I'm only supposed to do that though uh, when the button switches which button are we doing for this um, the left thumb stick up the Y value will be positive okay so that's how we're going to speed him up oh we got one called slow down as well so let's do that while we're at it and again um, do not let the value of speed drop below zero okay so if Okay, so there we have it. Now I need to call this um, when the user presses the B button, reverse the direction of the runner. So um, let's go up here. So after we get this, uh, we're still looking at the gamepad. If um, B is pressed, I want to reverse the direction. Um, now, I think uh, there's something missing from the instructions here. Um, if I reverse it every time B is pressed, even if they push the B button very quickly, it's going to reverse several times because you almost certainly cannot press the button for only 1 60th of a second. So we're only going to do this when uh, we switch from uh, one state to another on two consecutive ticks of the clock. So I'm going to need a previous pad variable here that I can compare with. And we always go down here and at the bottom we save the state of the pad from the previous tick of the clock. So what I want to know is I want to know if um, pad dot buttons dot b is pressed and previous pad dot buttons dot b was released then what I want to do is I want to call uh, reverse direction so uh, reverse direction okay and um, left thumb stick goes up uh, and uh, again, this is only when uh, we change state. So uh, pad dot thumbsticks dot left dot y is greater than zero, then uh, we're pushing up. And previous pad dot thumbsticks dot left dot y had to be equal to zero. So uh, if that happens, Whoops, I left the zero off. If that happens, then what I want to do is I want to speed up. Okay, and if dot thumbsticks dot left dot y is less than zero, they're pushing down. Whoops. Okay, if that happens, then I want to uh, slow down. Okay, so I will call those methods at the appropriate time. I'll either reverse, speed up, slow down, can't get slower than zero. Okay, we're not going to move backwards. We will just come to a stop and basically it'll look like he's running in place. So let's try this and let's see what we get. And let me see if I want him to reverse direction. I press B. I'm going to do that now. Okay, he's going backwards. I probably should have also turned him around. Um, just press B again to get him moving forward. Press now. Press again. Okay. And then speed him up. Okay, now I'm pulling down on the Y and he's down to zero. I'm going to push up on it. Okay, something's not right here. I'm pushing up on it repeatedly here, and eventually he starts moving backwards, and I'm not sure what the deal is with that. 
Uh, so something's not quite right here. So the problem was when I was trying to speed him up. Okay, so where am I trying to speed him up? I am trying to speed him up if the left thumbstick is greater than zero and on the previous tick uh, it was equal to zero. Um, slow down is similar. Let's look at speed up and see what speed up says. Okay. Uh, speed up just says runner speed plus plus. Um, okay. And I think I know what the problem is. Um, if runner speed is less than zero, then I want to make it faster in the negative direction. So I need to do runner speed minus minus. Else, do runner speed plus plus. Okay. So let's try that now and let's see what happens. And there's my guy running. I'm going to push the Y or the left thumbstick up again, again, and he's still going fast. He's going faster. He's going really fast now. I'm going to start pushing down on the on the joystick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm pushing down now, and uh, I can't make him go any slower. And uh, B was to reverse, I think. Whoops, if he's if he's going zero, he can't really reverse, can he? Okay. And the one thing I didn't do was when they push on the B button and I reverse, I was just uh having them run the other direction. Uh but what I should also do is uh if runner whoops runner dot effect is dot uh none then I want him to flip him horizontally. Otherwise, okay, and I got two equal signs up here, and that's an assignment statement. It's not a comparison, so it should just be one. And now let's try to run what we've got here. And let's see what we get. Okay, I'm going to press B. He turns around, press B again, and I'm just bouncing on the B button, and he constantly goes back and forth. So that looks good. We can stop that. And now we are at uh, the arrays part of the program. And we've uh, this video is about 13 minutes long now, so I'm going to save this one, and we will do the arrays part in uh, a third video.